It was grief, sorrow, and anguish at about 11 a.m. this morning as information about Nasa Antege Sebagala's day started coming in. At his ancestral home in Kisasi in the suburbs of Kampala, friends and relatives described Sebagala as a selfless politician who groomed many into politics without discrimination. Dr. Sarah Nkonge, who was a deputy mayor of Kampala at the time when Sebagala assumed the position of mayor, has memories of a man who rose from a humble background. He was my mentor. Sebagala made me what I am. Sebagala is a self-made man who, despite the fact that um, he did not go very far in education, he knew how to maneuver every situation. This is a man who could fit in any society, from the grassroots up to the professionals. When Sebagala was incarcerated in the United States of America in 1998, soon after he took over the mayor office of Kampala, Nkonge took over the office and kept his promise to defend the hawkers and market vendors who were his majority voters in the city. And to remove the hawkers from the streets. But I remembered the word of my boss, al Nasantege Sebagala, who made me what I am. I had asked him for his wish. For me, I still knew he had not been censored. He was still the mayor of Kampala. So when I stood, I put Gordon Mwesige's paper aside and made my own decision. I said, no, we cannot send away the hawkers from the street. Let us try to regularize them. Konge says Sebagara's return was heroic and took government by surprise. Everybody was on the street. People were, I don't know, it was a, it was a very heroic comeback. He was my president. We managed to keep Kampala City Council schools from being sold. Because when I left, many schools were sold. A foresighted leader with humility, Sebagala began his journey to the highest office on the land. Becoming a president at that time. It was only until he had been released from prison, many people came. He was shocked. What would I say? He was... My people are waiting for me. My people are waiting for me. That's when he started hatching the idea of becoming a president. The former member of parliament for Kawempe South, Sebuliba Motumba Mudwa Ulira, is among hundreds of politicians who have fond memories of the man who came to know as Seya. Very many people, by the way, the many people he touched passed through and became elected in those posts which they were aspiring for, which they had declared their intentions to contest for. The young ladies came on, the men, young men came on, and even Sebuliba Mutumba, I'm one of those people whom he made to succeed and come into public life. When Seba got a campaign to become the mayor, one of his campaign promises was to ensure that every Kampala resident goes back home every day with something to feed on his family. As he rose to power, uh, he, he used to emphasize that his leadership was to enable every person, every homestead, every, every father, every mother to return home with what he used to call a cavera. That was, that was a heart, a, a, a heart, that, 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 his heart was, was full of passion, was full of charity. He, he, was, he was an exemplary, exemplary leader. Information about Sebagara's barrio is still scanty. But the family says the decision will be taken in consultation with his older children who stay in the United States. Jingo Francis, NTV.